So guys, hello. Let us solve this problem. I can call triangle quest two. So if you see the difficulty level of this problem is medium, and why? Because this is related to pure math. So sometimes it gets difficult to sometimes understand the logic behind it. So and one more thing, they have told it is a palindrome. So whenever you see palindrome, you are like you have to reverse the string and check if it is a palindrome or no. But no, that is confusing. Actually, you are not supposed to use strings. You are supposed to use pure math. So I'll do one thing. I'll just open notepad and explain it to you all that how are we supposed to do this. So if you see the numbers are one, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. So basically, these are palindromes. Palindromes. If you don't know what they are, you just read it from the start. It is same when you read it from behind. So one, two, one is same as so one, two, one is same as one, two, one from behind, right? And the same thing for this number. So let us discuss how to you solve it by using math. So one can be written as one, say one only. So let us say one. One, two, one can be written as one, one raised to two. That is eleven raised to two. You know that obviously. 121 is square of 11, right? And uh, again, if you see 111 raised to 2 is going to be this number. So this thing is kind of difficult to understand or interpret at the first time because one you can say one is nothing but one raised to two because one square is one. So fine, 11 square is 122. You know these two things. You know these two things. But it gets difficult to understand that you can write one as one square. So that's why it gets difficult. Now rest part is easy. So how to get this? You can get this two to two. It is simple, and it is one raised to not one into two. So you can how to get this one eleven one 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 and so on. This is in triangle quest one, but still it is actually kind of really easy. So what I'm going to do is simply raise ten to say i. Suppose I'm going to use i, and if I'm using i, I'll just take its division with nine. So if I divide ten by nine, I'm going to get One. If I divide, and I'm talking about integer, so again, uh, question is going to be one. So after that, suppose you divide hundred by nine, you are going to get one one, right? So in the same way, you have to work on it. So let us do one thing. Let us try to code it because we and there is actually one more way to solve this problem. So this is nothing but a list of the all the numbers, and you are just using the index of that list to get the output. But I suggest please don't use this because this is a hack actually. So if I write four, I'm going to get the index. Because this is a list, I'm going to get it accordingly. So I suggest please don't use this use this way. Instead of that, it is better that you use this way. So I'll just copy this thing and paste it in on PyCharm so that I can directly use the print statement. So first of all, we have divided it into two parts. So first of all, to get one eleven one one one, you can write ten raised to i divided by nine. So that is really easy. So ten raised to i. I use spaces, so 10 raised to i, and you. It is not necessary to use brackets, but I prefer to use brackets because it is it is kind of easy to understand for yourself. So 10 raised to i divided by 9, and let us run this code to see if it works. So suppose I write 4. I'm writing this thing, but what I want is I want 1, I want 11, I want 1, 1. I don't want the floating point. So just do the floor division. Now enter 4, and yeah, we are getting the output according to us, whatever we want. One more thing is, again use brackets, and outside of these brackets, what you are going to do is now. Simply raise it to two because we are supposed to raise it to two according to this thing. So it is really easy. I'll just run this code. Enter four again, and you're getting the output. And they are palindromic numbers. So yeah, it is working. I'll copy this and paste it on Hackerank so that we can verify all the test cases if they actually work or not. So and I'll submit it directly. Yeah, everything is fine. There's no error. So that's all from my side. You can subscribe to my channel for getting more updates regarding more programming content or any content. So that's all from my side. Stay tuned and keep learning. Thank you.